people. Welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday. Monday? Sorry. <laughs> Teller Nights used to be on Tuesday. <laughs> Alright. It, it's Monday and I read them using Teller Nights. Ugh. This hand is a booty. Where are my monsters? I got no fucking monsters. This is fans fucking faster. This hand is the greatest. No fucking monsters at all. Just a booty ass hand. Like, awesome. Like, wow. I, I tried to increase the consistency of this deck running pot, you know, running monsters, you know, all types and stuff like that. You know, even helping with the consistency by even running this card and get no monsters. Like, great, awesome. Anyway, anyway, uh, it's Monday, and I like using Wow, and I like using Teller Knights because it's just a fun deck to come back to. Like I said, it's not competitive because it's not a competitive deck. You guys should try it right now. My Teller Knights are literally just sitting in a box. Sitting in the box. What the fuck does this do? It's a four pound monster cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect once per turn. And you take no battle damage from attack involving them. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> that's kind of annoying, so I really can't even touch his fucking performer pounds. Like, awesome. Great! And fucking death. Awesome. Cool. Great. Fun. So what does this guy do? So once per turn during your player's turn, you try to see material from his cards and target one. Oh, it's it's Clown Blade. It's just. Mm. Well, I'm glad I opened up so fucking fantastically. So you're gonna go ahead and target him so he can go ahead and attack twice. I'm gonna go ahead and finish training you. You can shut up. And then I think the monster is destroyed at the end of the battle phase, which of course you don't care because you know Thousand Blade. You want him in a graveyard anyway, so. So, if, uh, game, if you want to go ahead and uh, give me a monster, that would be great. I, I would glad, I would take any, any monster, any monster. All I run is Telenite monsters in the deck, so any Telenite monster would just be fan-fucking-tastic. I would be very appreciative, because even if it's not the Telenite monster I want, of course I can always just, you know, skybridge it up, so, yeah. But yeah, it's clearly, it's clearly Clown Blade, you know? I mean, it's, 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 it's Perform Mages, but of course, you know, you throw in Thousand Blade, it becomes Clown Blade. It's a variant of Clown Blade, so. So, any monster would be great. I'd be very appreciative. Fine, fine. It's not the best of monsters, but I'll take it. Because at least I could still do fucking plays. Fine. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take fucking Altair, put him back in the deck. I'm gonna nuke. Fine, fine. And we'll go ahead and drop the neb. And we'll activate Oasis. So I'm back to the neb. I don't know where I'm going with this play, though. I'm literally, I'm just playing just to play at this point. <laughs> uh, and grab the Altarian. See? That's how I see. See? All I needed was one monster, and I could do decent plays. So, of course, I cannot special summon. Wait, I thought if I controlled the special summon. Oh, I can go on the Patrol of Mayo. So, but say, I thought I couldn't special summon any monsters as long as I controlled this monster of Tower Line Monsters, which is fine. Which is fine. So, I guess I'll go ahead and kill the Thousand Blade, just because I don't want you to make an XC. I'd rather, I'd rather go ahead and kill the Thousand Blade than allow you to keep the Thousand Blade. Anyway, uh, you can see by the title of whatever I named the title, something about uh, locals. I actually went to locals, and by locals, I mean it's not very local. It's not very local. These the locals are closer to me, but I, I didn't want to go to that one. And um, my friend Ryan, or you guys might know him, is the guy from Team Ninja, the the uh, captain of the Kaiba White Dragons on League. You know, yeah. Then you play Storm and Carpet, uh, and someone you can. I don't even know what this does. It's called Northern Summon, you flick 500 both players. Fine, I'll take the 500, you take the 500. We all take the 500, that's fine. And that, that, you, you know, I'll take the 500, you take the 500, we can all have that. Then I guess he's gonna activate one of his. Oh, then he's gonna come back. Let's say I forgot about that. She's like, oh, you take damage, period. Like, okay. Okay. So 
Then I guess you're gonna go ahead and XC these two. God, Thousand Blades goes so well with this deck. Not only with Trick Clown, goes well with all the other ones too. If you the Searcher and you do a little bit of burn, but then you get to trigger his effect, like, I see you. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be like, cast down effect, put the Deneb back in the deck, get to the chopper, get back in the deck, Deneb, you don't want to be... The only reason why I'm fucking doing this is just because I want to have in the graveyard, like, like, because I'm a trivia, I'm going to take my fingers chain back, so, like, I don't even know what the fuck that was, you like, get the fingers chain off, get the delta key, get out, okay, and now you're just going to scoop, like, wow, you were doing just fine, and all of a sudden you decided to scoop, like, alright, nigga, whatever, whatever, you still have plays, man, don't lie to me, don't lie to me, but you're back, alright, anyway, the locals was on the other side of freaking town from my house. Like, it was it was a cool what? Okay, Depro, you're a piece of shit because I didn't disconnect. My internet's fine, so Depro's a piece of shit. People, bear back. Okay, let's try this again. And hopefully, not be stupid this time. Hmm, not the best of hands. It's not the worst of hands either. Actually, it is kind of bad actually. Just because I have, like, no, uh, revival. <laughs> None. No, let me hold on to that. So, you just go ahead and drop the nab. I said, I can, I can turn you into, uh, uh, an Altair. Altair is some the nab, so, you know. We're not sitting too terribly right now. Let's just go ahead and scare him. I mean, I ain't running Teller Knights, but I got, like, no, I got nothing for you, man. I got nothing for you. <laughs> Yeah, and the nuke's not bad. He's an 18 beater. There's nothing to complain about with an 18 beater. You know, unless you have strong beaters, normal summon beaters of your own, you're generally gonna have to go ahead and exceed to take me out. So, let's say, or you can just go into Denklaw that deck. Like I said, whenever I see Goblinburg, it's always like, oh, is it Denklaw? Oh no, it's mass change into acid. That's fine. Did you even have to summon? Do the Goblinburg play if you're just gonna do that? I said, they're all just bluffs. They are all just bluffs. <laughs> they were just MSTs for your back row, because I thought you were going to set some back row. That's all they were. I was just trying to scare you. There ain't nothing shit back there. So, hey, when you're playing Denklaw.deck, then shit, every fucking uh, mass change is, is Denklaw. So go ahead and kill... Really? You didn't come out the nub. I would have left it the nub there, personally. Because you just saw me search Altair, so now I could just go, alright, Altair, summon Altair, Altair, search for Neb with the nub again, so why would you do that? I'm saying, let's say piece of, this one piece of background or something to stop me, which I think it might be. I said, I probably should have held on to one of the MSTs. I just didn't think I was going to get wiped. Like, who expects to get Heavy Storm this day and age? What? No one. Yeah, that's correct. Anyway, I decided to go, and, uh, I mean, what do I, get a, what do I benefit from triving? Actually, you know what, I'd rather triv. I was thinking, what, would I get, what, what do I gain from triving? But then, if it's like, a mass change, and he can go ahead and chain it, and switch the acid for something else. Oh, or it could just be a compulse. Yeah, or it could just be a compulse. Ugh, still is annoying. Like, who plays Compulse now, day and age, but can't let this guy. Oh my god. The week just started and I'm already sick and tired of Yu-Gi-Oh. So annoying. Awesome. Denklaw. Now what level 4 are you summoning? Another Goblin Bird? You're gonna go into Infinity? That deck? You can splash affinity with fucking heroes too. Yeah, I don't see where you're going to this place unless you want to go ahead and go into infinity. Oh no, you just want to tear me a new asshole. I am getting fucking hella deja vu right now. Hella fucking deja vu. 
I actually recorded an episode of Vitamin Y, which I actually ended up throwing away because it was crap because I couldn't get a duel, good duel in, in which I dueled against a hero player who went into Blade Armor, had a compulse, and then just tear, tore my ass up. Like, is this the same exact fucking guy? Go ahead and ask change the Anki game. Fucking compulse again. It's exactly the same shit that happened. We're right back. Anyway, it was a nice, quaint little locals. Nothing too big. Uh, I recorded some live videos. Lots of openings. Lots of openings. Everybody wanted to buy a box of of uh, Clash of Rebellion, so I should have some of those videos. And then once again, just another opening hand of no fucking monsters. What the fuck? Like, is my luck just that terrible that I just never get any monsters? Like. Like, awesome. But yeah, it just, my luck is just bad, just bad. Bad, 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 bad. Another hand of no monsters. So this deck has, when you don't open up any monsters, it's like, wow, I, you know, I'm running, I'm running all the monsters, all the monsters. Triple Altair, triple Deneb, triple Nuke, triple, uh, even triple Vega, even triple Vega. So I'm running all the Talonite monsters that you should run. I'm running Pot, I'm running... Shit, and still it's not drawing any shit. Like, awesome. It's awesome, so I'll probably go ahead and get OTK'd by fucking DDs. <sighs> I said, I take a, take a break over the weekend from Yu-Gi-Oh! And I still deal with Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like, ugh. So I'll probably lose this duel too, just because I opened up like ass. This is not a 20, 28 beater, and I got nothing. I got fucking nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and be able to infuse again. This is day obviously from the episode of I'm and Y where this fucking DN had the wrong effect on Depro. I mean on Depro. DN had the wrong effect on Depro. DN had the wrong effect on their fucking shit. For that episode. There's a whole bunch of deja vu in this fucking episode. Anyway. Yeah, lots lots of openings. Lots of openings. They even did like a little draft. You know, you pay and you do the five pack. I didn't do that. I didn't feel like doing that. Then summon him, then I think when you have control another... If you got like a DDD, you can summon someone else. So, I'm probably just gonna get completely... I'm gonna get my ass raped, yeah. I'm going to get my ass raped. I am... Uh, shit. I'll say, is that game? Sure close to it. If it's not already. Talk to attack now. I think I got like a thousand life points left. Wow. Wow. I just opened up just mmm. Oh, alright. Awesome. 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 I'm gonna go kill myself now. We're back. Oh, anyway, they did the draft tournament. I didn't enter. I said I just personally I feel like there's not enough worth in Clash Rebellion to, you know, go out and buy a box. It's just me personally. I just don't see it. There we go. Finally got some goddamn monsters. I'm actually gonna grab Unuk. Because I can actually turn an Unuk into an Altai Air, so... Daddy doing the Deneb play. I like the Unuk play. Finally got some goddamn monsters. Like what, every other duel I get monsters? Well, that's stupid. It's real stupid, but I... That's yu gi Mons for you. I'm not gonna work, so I'm just gonna set those two. But then after that, there was actually a tournament. And at first, I was thinking, eh, I don't want to enter a tournament. But then I was like, you know what? I definitely need some practice with my, uh, with my deck, with my, uh, Tower Turbo. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll go ahead and enter. Fuck it. Why not? So you're gonna go ahead and use Blackstone, summon a Red Eyes? That's fine. So we're gonna get some Red Eyes. I still don't see how it is, is that good. You know, running unnecessary normal monsters is just a really weird thing to do, so. I guess. And black metal. Black metal. You think black metal would be the expensive one? Like, you equip it and you get to search? And like, this guy, I mean, all he really does is just summon fucking red eyes monster. Like, really? But this guy, I mean, quit. I mean, when it's sent to the graveyard, you get to get a red eyes card? Like, the power. It's a fucking power. So, hopefully he's running some back row to hinder my plays. That's the only way he's gonna beat me in this duel. Uh, just a deck that runs Gemini's and normal monsters. 
you know, their effects really aren't controlling. They're not really uh, resource centric. I just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe me personally, I just don't see how their deck does well enough. So who are you gonna kill? Stay smart. Stay smart. Kill the right monster. It's most of the time, people forget which monster to fucking kill. I guess I can summon him back. I mean, I'm gonna go into a triv anyway. Nah, that's okay. He said, you killed the right monster. And I'm like, that other guy. I'm like, why would you kill the, the neb when I'm just gonna summon it back with the ulti air I just searched? So, I think about going into triv. Yeah, triv would be fine. The question is, how should I go into triv? I don't have any more Tunnel Knight monsters in the graveyard. That's what, that's what sucks about Skybridge, that I shove them off the back. If it's into the graveyard, that'd be a great card. Mandatory fucking three in Tunnel Knights, but... Because you shuffle it back in, like, why the fuck would you want to shuffle your shit, your Tunnel Knight back in your deck? That's the last thing you want to do. Fuck it. Yeah, it doesn't look like my opponent has anything. Alright, let's just go ahead and go into Triff. So, I decided to go ahead and enter with uh, my deck, with my Tower Turbo. Except, I was a little bit handicapped side deck wise because I actually let one of my friends borrow some of my side deck. Because I wasn't planning on entering, but then I decided to enter. And he was like, yeah, man, can I borrow, you know, some cards out of your side deck? Like, oh, yeah, sure. So, the funny thing is, I let, I let him. Wow. Wow. Who would have sunk? Who would have sunk? Anybody would have sunk that. That me returning his shit to his hand, he was going to gores me. Anybody? No one? No one? Yeah, no one. Who would have sunk? <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> like, ha ha, the perfect counter to Triv. Gores. <laughs> like, oh shit. <laughs> wow, I, I would have never thought that. I would have never thought. Oh, yep, here comes the gores. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> People always forget that. You can only use the effect of Blackstone once per turn, only once that turn. Therefore, you already had the other effect. You think that you're just going to be able to just keep doing that over and over again? So maybe that would warrant it being a secret rare. Hell yeah. And some of the Altair. And the Altair. Some of the Neb. Funny thing is, I would love to trip again, but then once again, all the shit's gonna go back to his hand. To the fucking like the gore's going back to his hand just so he can gores me again and again and again. Like the gore just seems like a great fucking counter to uh, to Triv. Just a great fucking counter. I said maybe maybe it's me. I just I think it's a fantastic fucking counter. God, I wish I had another fucking Deneb in the graveyard. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. Just trying to stay up on resources. Oh. Oh my god, I actually... Can I go into 86? Eighty-six. Once per turn you can show all cards my opponent controls. Ooh. I might actually do it. Let's say eighty-six sounds delicious right now. I still got soul charge, so should hit the fan then, you know, I still got plays. That you got some warning. That'd be 
perfect every day. <laughs> Which would mean that he topped at the solemn warning, because if he did have the solemn warning, he would have solemn warned me last turn. I think I can only attack with Teller Knight Monsters during the turn that I summon him. I, I want to say. Let's see. Oh no. He can still attack. Alright, that's game. Because you can't summon. So. <laughs> Damn, you're like, break this skill! Like, why don't you break this skill earlier? Some fucking Dragna, and you're like, Ragna, Ragna, blah, blah, whatever his fucking name is. Wreck you. Anyway, it was a small little tournament. Small, itty bitty. Oh, you can still set. Small, tiny little tournament. And of course, my effect will go off. And I will be detaching that the neb. Because I'll put for him in the graveyard. Oh god, not today, boys. Just turn me in face. Oh, but he's. He, I forgot he has breakthrough skill. So he can still negate during my end phase. I mean, I can activate, but he can still play breakthrough skill. If he's smart, he will. I forgot about that. I forgot that he just sent it. There you go. That's fine. I should have did it all the way during my play, but I wanted to attack with non Tower Knight monsters. Oh, I mean, I could always just switch him out. Yeah, I could. Oh, I switch him out for. Doesn't that have to be a different Talite monster? Yeah, with a different name. Eh, yeah. uh, that's fine. Yep. Powerful black metal dragon. Being able to go ahead and search for your fusion. Like, that's. Uh, like, how is this not the secret rare? Like Konami, really? Alright, let's begin. And poke for 15 in that game. Hey! Alright. Okay, get one more duel, explain what happened in the tournament, etc, etc. Be right back. Alright, last duel. So, Towers Turbos was working fantastically. fan fucking tactically people. Like, I... The tournament was only four rounds, but every single duel, I would drop first turn Towers. Every single duel. Every single duel. It would be Towers every single fucking duel. And it was beautiful. And the thing is, like, the people... I'm not, I'm not insulting, but they weren't like the brightest people ever, you know? Like, I shit you not, I don't plan on playing this card. Actually, I could, because I could just go ahead and tag it out for Unuk. Uh, I tagged it out to an Unuk and an Unuk Sen, so. Because I don't like, I don't want to shuffle the net back into the deck, of course. I'd rather have them in the graveyard, but that's fine as well. <laughs> like, we roll a die, right? They would win the dice roll, say, who go first, me or you? They're like, you. I'm like, okay, I'll go first. I drop towers on them, and they're like, I, I can't beat that. You know, I scoop. I'm like, okay, let's go into game two. Game two, who goes first, me or you? They're like, you. Like, drop towers on them again. <laughs> again. I'm like, like, you don't fucking learn, do you? Like, I just fucking dropped the fucking towers on your ass. First turn. Like, they just didn't understand Tower Turbo. They thought, I guess they assumed that I got lucky with it. Like, no, no. I tried to make the deck as consistent as possible. So, you know, dropping towers on you first turn is kind of the deck's job. So, but yeah, they, shit. This is stupid. So, like I said, it was only four rounds. Uh, round one, I dueled up against an Infernoid guy. And you think, you oh, no, Infernoids, they can, they can go ahead and take uh, towers. Uh, the only problem is he got fucking unlucky and wasn't able to uh, mill Onuchu. Nope, no no Onuchu action. Oh yes, Deltra, so go ahead and pop that Shining Angel. Like, how about no Shining Angel? I'm, I'm good with you not summoning Shining, shining Angel. <laughs> He's like, wow, fuck that. Like, okay, you can quit if you want to, I don't really care. 
I said, this is the last duel. I'm just going to remain talking for the rest of the video. So, we are really just entertaining the viewers while I'm talking. Talking about it. So, he never remilled a new chew. So, he, he was never... He, he, like, decatroned and sent a new chew, but it was already too late by then. I was already... I already applied enough... Uh, too much pressure, so he ended up still losing. Go to that. Sakuretsu. Okay. <laughs> Sakuretsu motherfucking armor. Remember that card, guys? You remember that card? That card is a boss ass bitch. Get rid of that. Another shiny angel. Damn, man, fuck you, shining angel. <laughs> Hashtag fuck you, shining angel. <laughs> Dude, he's getting wrecked right now. <laughs> Salty, just <laughs> keep wrecking his shining angel. Stop setting shining angel. I'm just gonna use my effect, like, dude. You better not set a third shining angel. Oh my god, if he set another shining angel. Say it'll be too funny. Ooh, Maiden. Hmm. Should I trade for this man? Shall I, shall I truth this man? Driven wouldn't be bad. Some of you, some of you going to trip, put you back in the fucking hand, because I don't even feel like dealing with your ass right now. Looking like a motherfucking, uh... <laughs> so, nope. He, he wasn't able to summon an entry, ended up just, I applied too much pressure, he ended up losing. No, 2-0. Uh, round 2, I ended up dueling against fucking Ryan's bitch ass, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nothing against Ryan, just, ugh. There's a clean mirror match, and that's Tower, Tower Turbo's hardest fucking shit. Like, oh my god. Round one, I got him so fucking good. Like, he went first, he set the vanities, he thought he had me. He's like, oh yeah, I fucking got you. I'm like, okay, okay. I was like, set my scales, it's just fine, you know. All he had to set was vanities, right? And I was like, as soon as I set my scales, he's like, he felt the vent. He's like, ah. He's like, he's like, I know you have nothing to beat to get around this in Tower Turbo. Ah, ha, ha. I was like, wait for guys. He's like, no! <laughs> so I banished his his uh, his vanities and I just kicked his butt like you you and that was it so I won game one game two I fucked up like I misplayed I still need I still need to work on that deck I need I need to play the deck because the whole point of me entering the tournaments because you know I didn't know how to play the deck properly yet so I was like I need to work on this deck I'm gonna go ahead and go on a trip put everything back and he's gonna be like you're so fucking annoying do, 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 do. like I don't care. <laughs> it's funny pissing you off, man. It is hilarious. What the fuck is that? Wow, okay. Kunai Whip Chain. Who the thunk? So, attack. And, sure. We'll go ahead and play this. Just to wrap this duel up. I don't care. I think someone's a nub. I don't care. <laughs> you pussy ass bitch, bro. <laughs> ah, it's <was> funny. <laughs> the salt. Mm -hmm. It tastes so good. Your salty tears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. That's funny. When I'm mad, it's, I'm mad. <laughs> when someone else is mad, it's funny. <laughs> so, I fucked up. But I saw him kill her. And I attributed Helix. He had Scout and he had something to increase the strength. He had a stealth on the field that was true summoned properly. And, uh, pretty much I just, I couldn't really, uh, I, 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 I popped the scout when I should have popped the helix, because then I could have ran over the scout, and I, I fucked up, so I fucked up. And then game three, I fucked up, too, because he, bar he didn't have any, he had, I think he had, like, 700 life points, and he had, like, no plays left. And then I was, I was worried about him, you know, getting set up and play, so I wanted to get deeper into my deck to play, so I play upstart, and then I drew into upstart. Fucking fantastic. Played again, Drew. So he gained some life points back. And, the, and literally, those life points were enough. He top deck into a wavering eye. Blew up my scale. Fucking reset his scout. Paid the life points. Skill drain. Ran over my kill. I was like, wow. So, because I gave him the fucking life points to fucking uh, beat me, he won. So, he ended up winning that. Uh, round three, uh, the friend who I let me borrow my cards, uh, he, while I was doing against Ryan, he was doing against another guy. The guy left behind. So then the next round came. I was one one. Ryan was two zero, and 
Sebastian, the guy I let buy on the cards, is also two on. So I need Sebastian to duel, and I duel against the guy that uh, that Sebastian beat. I beat him two out. Ritual is the ritual beast guy. It was a ritual beast guy. So I, you know, roll a dice. Like who goes first? He's like you. I'm like okay, drop kill on him. He's like I can't get over that. He he opened up with no fucking monsters. I think he opened up with the one monster that was like oh you know if you have a monster. I, I forgot her name. The one that's like the ritual beast is like you can summon one from the graveyard. He opened up with her in a foolish, so he could have went off. But I was like, "Come and kill her!" I was like, "Send a monster!" And that was the only monster he had, so he had to send her. Then he drew, and all he had was just fucking back. You get mirror force for Gaki. Like that's a cool story, bro. Fucking kill it. So he's like, oh, "Fucking scoop." So we go to game two. I'm like, "All right, who goes first? Me or you?" And he's like, "You." I'm like, okay, jump kill on your ass again. And he's like, "Man, god damn it!" He just scoops and quit again. I'm like, wow. Okay, so quick two zero on him. <laughs> it's so stupid. While wow. Ryan beat Sebastian, so Ryan is now three zero. I'm. 2-1, Sebastian is 2-1. So we move on to the last round. The last round I'll do against a fucking Zephyr deck. I don't know, surprise. Fucking Zephyr deck. So Roll dies, goes first me. I, he loves me, go first. So I fucking drop killer on his ass. And he's like, damn, how do I fucking beat that? Like, I, I, can't, I can't fucking beat that. He's like, I made deck one Santa Claus. Like, okay, get it. He never got it. So then he's cute. So we go on to game two. <laughs> I drop killer on his ass again. <laughs> And he's like, God damn it! He's like, Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess you up. So he's like, He's like, Oh, I'll go ahead and use my Zephyr effect to pop your monolith, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, synchro summon for my Horus, and my Horus will negate your scout. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. He's like, Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, I still have towers, and you still really have no way of getting around it. So I'm like, Draw. <laughs> I'm like, Upstart, draw, and I draw into my second killer. Because generally people can get over the first one, use up a lot of resources to get over the first one, so I'm just gonna drop a second one on you. I'm like, okay, let's turn on this, turn seven three, and tribute for two for two towers. So you just deal with fucking two fucking towers, people. Two fucking towers. He's just like, God fucking damn it. And I just crush him. I just crush that two on So I'm 3 1. Uh, Ryan wins his last match, I think, against uh, Ignites, and he goes 4 0. And Sebastian is also 3 1. So just because the way matchups went and it came out to be that I'm, despite me, both me and Sebastian being 3-1, and us never dueling each other, we're both 3-1 by the last final round because of how the matchups went and how I lost to Ryan first before Sebastian and I dueled against the guy that Sebastian beat. Uh, you know, I ended up uh, with less points than him in the end, so I ended up getting third. And guess what they decided to do? Top two! Yeah, so those two dueled. I think they split like the 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 store credit. I think it, I think it was like twenty five for each of them. They split the store credit. But me third instead of doing top four, they did top two. I get nothing. Yeah, just all because just how how the matchups went. So it's such a bullshit. Like I probably would have beat Sebastian too because he had a hard time with Cleves. He has a hard time with Ryan. Like whenever he duels Ryan, he just straight up opens up like ass and loses. It's really bad. While Ryan, he opens up like the tits. Like and he was dueling and uh, my friend Sebastian was using Cosmos and man. He, he he had, like, the lose one turn, the light imprisoning, he had the, the shit to just fuck him up. And he two of them, and then when they played top two, two of them again, I was like, damn, like, damn, you know. So, that's how that went down, so. But it was fun, I guess. Just like, wow, like, you know, I would have rather been fucking top two and dueled against Ryan. I probably could have, you know, given him a better fight than Sebastian did, but, yeah. So, pretty much... I think Mirror Mash is one of just the worst things, just because they can easily get over my killer with, you know, the correct scales. So, I need to, you know, work on that, work on my signing for that, and, you know, get ready to go to that Utah Regionals later this month. But yeah, that, that's how my, uh, finally went back to, uh, Regionals, Tier 1 Regionals. So, yeah, that's my report. <laughs> so, like I said, I got a lot of openings, so you'll be seeing some of that for the live video, so look forward to it. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow, Tag Tuesday, using trains, joined by, you'll find out. Alright, people, thanks for watching.